Today on Sci Guys, microwaving ivory soap. Welcome to season four of the Sci Guys. I'm Ryan. And I'm Mark. And on today's episode, we'll be microwaving ivory soap. Mark, we made it to season four. I know. I'm high five. High. No, 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 no. Watch the elbow. Oh, elbow. Watch the elbow. Hey! Charles's law states that the temperature and volume of an ideal gas are directly proportional. What this means is that as the temperature goes up, so too does the volume, and vice versa. The equipment you're going to need for this episode includes a microwave, soap, specifically ivory brand, and a paper towel or microwave safe plate. The safety equipment we recommend for this experiment include gloves, goggles, and an apron or lab coat. Also, the plate will be very hot at the end of the experiment, so for our younger viewers, we recommend getting the help of an adult. All you have to do for this experiment is take your soap, put it on your microwave safe plate, and put it in the microwave for two minutes on high. A short time after you start your microwave, the soap will begin to grow and expand. It will continue to expand over the course of the two minutes that it's in the microwave. Remember that once the microwave is done heating our soap, the soap and the plate will be really hot. Give them a few minutes, and then use heat-resistant gloves to remove them from the microwave. Once the soap is cooled, you should now have a large pile of fluffy soap. Let's look at this experiment a little closer. When ivory soap is made, its soap mixture is whipped together, which causes lots of air molecules to be trapped in the soap. These trapped air molecules allow ivory soap to float in water, and they are the main reason why the soap will expand when heated in the microwave. Microwaves produce alternating electromagnetic waves. Once these waves reach the soap, they excite the water molecules in the soap, causing them to vibrate faster and rise in temperature. This rise in temperature softens the soap slightly and heats up the trapped air molecules. As the water and air molecules heat up, they spread further apart, increasing their volume and pressing against the warm, soft soap molecules. The expansion of the water and air molecules is a great example of Charles's Law of Gases. Charles's law states that when a fixed amount or mass of an ideal gas is kept at a constant pressure and in a closed system, then its temperature and volume are directly proportional. What this means is that when temperature increases, volume increases, or as temperature decreases, volume decreases. The warmer the air molecules get, the further apart they spread, pushing outwards on the soap, causing it to grow and expand into a fluffy white mess. Well, that's it for microwaving ivory soap. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments below and subscribe for future episodes. And remember to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you have any questions related to this episode or about science in general, let us know in the comments below or message us on Facebook and we'll try to help you as best possible. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. No look, high five. First try. Here at Sci Guys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, share a video or photo of them with us on our Facebook or Google Plus page. But remember to always ask your parents' permission before you share any photos or videos.